Welcome to Film My Run, welcome to Wembury Beach. This is going to be 117 miles of the Coast to Coast Ultra. It's the two moors way from Wembury here, all the way up to Lynmouth. We're crossing Dartmoor, we're crossing Exmoor. It's going to take us about, what, 30 hours, something like that. It's going to be a bit crazy, a bit wet. Hope you enjoy watching it. Counting down from 10, 9, Nine 8, eight <laughs> 7, 6, 5, Dalek. It's a bit underripe early in the season, but it's lovely. Put it in the salad. <laughs> so we've been running for three hours and 16 minutes, 17 minutes. We've travelled just over 14 miles and we're in the town of Ivy Bridge now. The weather doesn't really know what to do so sometimes it's blowing a gale and raining and then other times it's really warm and sunny like it is now so it's a bit confusing really. Stowford paper mill if you were interested, 1862. We're just climbing out of Ivy Bridge and look actual snow. Yeah the sun's out, it's quite warm really. Um, and we're just climbing up onto Dartmoor now really I think. about 27 miles just over 27 miles and we just come into the first main aid station beautiful run down off the moors and we thought we're just going to come to the end of the downhill and it'll be a lovely little village and that'll be it but no we've got this really steep little hill to climb or two navigational issues at the River Dart but we're now climbing right up a big hill 32 and a half miles 7 hours 50 minutes been a, quite a big descent after that big long climb we just did Okay, this is not Centurion. This is hardcore running. This is this is our aid, this is our aid station. You can have a pretzel or a peanut. What do you want? So Bennett's Cross in Dartmoor. Um, we've done about 38, 39, 40 miles. 39 and a half miles in how long? Eight, nine, nine, four, nine, 45. Better get running. Chocolate drop. 
Sure. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much, sir. Ten to eight. Oh, the that? light is definitely fading, so it'll be head torches in a minute. Um, this is where are we? Swimming, so we're up, we're going for a swim because we definitely need it. We were hoping that the bogs would let up, but the bogs simply haven't let up at all, really. Um, but we're doing okay, and we've got more food to come, and then another aid, the big aid station in about seven miles, eight miles, six. Come on, Chagford swimming pool. It is quarter to 11 at night. We're in uh, the village hall in Hittersley. And uh, this is the aid station. This is the second major aid station. Um, I've, I've had chili, I've had coffee. I've, had, I've even had a foot spa. Which, where's the lovely lady who gave me a foot spa? That lady has given me the most amazing foot massage. Cleaning, amazing. This lady's made us coffee and tea, thank you very much. It's dark and it's cold and it's wet out there, but we're going to make it. It's 4.56 in the morning, nearly five o'clock. I've no idea what this village is that we've just arrived in. Um, we've been going for 20 hours and 41 minutes. And we've covered, well, according to my watch, we've covered 74 miles. Richard's watch says we've covered a bit further. Um, and about... And <coughs> about 3,500 metres of elevation. We're really tired, but we've still got about like 35 miles to go. Anyway, we're in Witheridge. This is kind of a, a pop-up aid station that's popped up inside a village hall. We're not, this is not the proper third aid station. We'll get to that in 15 kilometres. Thank you very much to these guys. Helped us out again. Take care, see you. been running for 22 hours and 42 minutes we've still got 30 miles to go we were hoping to get in under 30 hours but I don't think that's gonna happen now the night time was so difficult really boggy I think we were averaging about three miles an hour Just leaving West Anstey now at about half past eight in the morning. That was the final aid station. And now we've got the climb up onto Exmoor for the last section before we finish. We've been running for 24 hours and 20 minutes. So if you add eight hours to that, we'll finish in 32 hours, 32 and a half hours, let's say. So, we've run 90 miles. We've got just under 20 to go. Uh, it's taken us 26 hours, 22 minutes. 
and we've just come to the Tar Steps, very famous steps across this river. saying to Richard here this is uh, this is one heck of a route we're on eh huh 18 and a half miles to go it's nice isn't it look the mud's gone we've just washed our legs in the cold very cold Still 17.8 kilometer miles to go. <laughs> oh dear. It's felt like we were near the end for ages. We've still got like way more than a half marathon to do. miles to go totally shattered now it's been a really long two days very difficult night in the mud but we're getting there slowly getting there now 10 miles left rain has started with six miles to go Just dropping down towards Lynmouth now, three miles to go. We think we, we might have improved our placing a bit because we've just overtaken somebody, so. Very steep switchbacks at the end of the race. One mile to go. And we're coming back up through the forest. We've done about nearly 5,000 metres of elevation, which is around about 15,000 feet. Welcome to Lynmouth on the north coast of Devon. We have about 200 metres to go to the finish and both Richard and I are completely and utterly wrecked by that ultra. Absolutely annihilated. I can't remember a time when we have walked to the finish. I've never but, walked. But, but that's what we're doing today because that, that, that has wrecked us. And here we are at the finish of the Devon Coast to Coast. 